Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Nova and we are going to talk about cheap soldering stations today. Um, so I'm going to explain to you why do I recommend um, buying one of these uh, cheap soldering stations, especially if you're starting in uh, electronics as a hobby or you're starting your own lab or in repair business and you don't have enough money to buy uh, uh, one of those brands like Hacko, JVC or Weller that we all know that, that they are great but they cost like hundreds of euros for each single uh, one so um, let's get started so uh, here we have a M-Link S2 soldering station uh, but in reality this is just a clone of a Hacko 936 and since it's a clone with, of an Hacko 936, you get all the features that you have in an Hacko 936. Uh, please uh, keep in mind that M-Link S2 is just probably just another Chinese company. You can you can uh, find these clones uh, from Haiwa, Kada, and Aten, and I don't know, probably a hundred more. Chinese brands that make the, precisely the same Hacko 936 clone. So, about the features, you get um, adjustable temperature, of course. Uh, you 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 have. Um, I hope you can see. Yeah, you can see it. Um, you can calibrate temperature on this screw right here. You can even um, switch. Uh, the iron itself um, about the iron you have uh, you can replace the tips uh, replace the element and uh, above all uh, these clones are so easy to get uh, spare pieces so easy if you go online you go on eBay Amazon whatever if you go for 936 uh, soldering station, you will find all the accessories, uh, tips, heating elements, and you can even use the original Hacko ones. Uh, they will fit and they will work. Um, the only thing that I found different from my original Hacko is that uh, this connection here. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it, it still works. It still fits and still works. Um, so, uh, if you go and look for spares, uh, you, you'll see that it's very, very easy to find uh, tips to replace or even the heating element like this. And it's so cheap, really. Um, and other than that, um some of these um i won't say the brand but the seller that sells these clones um you'll see that some they include uh another heating element or two and some tips that y y you will you will need later because you can't really solder everything with standard tip um so um the price this sells probably i don't know around i th i think i paid for this around 30 dollars probably um uh, it comes with a two years warranty from the seller i brought so i can't really complain uh, the first um uh, repair i do with this uh, soldering station it's paid so the return of investment is just insane with these uh, stations uh, now, uh, compare it to the Hacko 936 uh, that I've used, um, the big difference is heating time. Um, uh, these uh, cheap clones, they, they usually tend to take like 30, maybe one minute more to heat up to the selected temperature compared to the Hacko. And of course, you have a... Um, uh, uh, the tips, hacko tips, are way better, and um, yeah, but you can't really compare the price. For thirty bucks, this is just unbeatable. 
So um, this is the reason I, I, I really recommend anyone starting in electronics or uh, getting a new soldering station uh, to buy one of these 936 clones. They are really great. Um, they are so cheap. You, you can't really argue about uh, quality, but overall it has uh, almost the same feeling as, as, as the Hakko I've used. So I forgot to mention the um, heating LED and why this is important because uh, when you turn it on, uh, the LED stays on until the iron itself reaches the temperature is selected. So it's, as soon as the heating LED starts to blink like it is now, it means that the iron tip is already at uh, 350 at this moment. Uh, um, this is way, way better than other shipping soldering station like I have here. I can show you. So uh, these uh, models of cheap soldering stations uh, <laughs> have a huge problem. You don't really have a, a, the correct temperature here. You don't have ways to calibrate. And if you um, if you turn it on, this is on light, as you can see. It's no heating light. So there's no way I can know uh, which temperature is the tip of the iron unless I take some a piece of solar and try to hit it with the solar and see if the solar melts. So uh, this sol this um, heating lead here it's 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 um, it's a big deal and <laughs> believe me or not some <laughs> cheap soldering station doesn't have those and I can't really understand why not. But still, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, please write it down below. I'll, I'll have a look and I will answer for sure. And um, I hope you like it. Please subscribe um, and like the video. And see you in the next video.